click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends our topic is octal to binary encoder let's start the discussion so your heading is octal to binary encoder so we will start with the truth table the input side of the truth table has octal numbers and at the output side we have binary numbers that is a b and c we have octal numbers from 0 to 7 so we will write here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so at the input side we have 8 bits and for each 8 octal number you have 3 bit binary number so let's write the binary representations for each octal number so for 0 we have 0 0 0 For one we have zero 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 one. For two zero one zero. For three zero one one. For four you have one zero zero. Five you can write as one zero one. Six you can write as one one zero. And seven you can write here one one one. In this way you have to show the input octal numbers zero to seven and respect to binary numbers. now encoder is a combinational circuit now what is combinational circuit the circuit in which output depends on only present input now here octal numbers are converted into the binary numbers here we have at the input side 0 to 7 octal numbers and at the output side we have 3 bit binary numbers so the next step is to get the block diagram for the encoder so we have here suppose this is the block diagram of encoder it has three outputs a b and c so for eight inputs from 0 1 2 up to what Seven. This side is the input side, and this side is the output side of the encoder. Now we have to search for ones present for the output bit A. So the expressions we are getting here for the output are A equals to we can write here. Four plus five plus six plus seven, because it is one for all the octal numbers. Now for B, we have two plus three. Here it is two. Here it is three, and then plus six plus seven. After that, for C, we have one plus three plus five. And plus seven. In this way, you have to write the expressions for A, B, and C. After that, realization part we can see here. So realization for that you should concentrate on the expressions and octal number that is input side. So how many inputs are present? Eight inputs are present, and respective three outputs you are getting. So we will draw here eight inputs as we will start with zero. This is the line representing zero. Then this line represents one. This line represents here two. Here three. Then we have representation of four. After that, this line represents your five. Then six and seven. This is the input side zero to seven. these expressions to be executed with the help of the or gets so we will draw here the or gate 
first you will draw or gate for a then next or gate we will draw here for b and third or gate we will draw here for the c so in this way you have to design the circuit now you have to focus on expression of a so 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 so we will write down take 4 outside then 5 then 6 and lastly we want to take outside 7 this is all about the expression for the a now for b you have to take outside 2 so take 2 outside then 3 take 3 outside after that 6 and lastly 7 in this way you have to design the circuit for b then for c you have to focus on 1 3 5 and 7 so focus on 1 attach the line to the c then 3 after that you have to focus on 5 and lastly you have to focus on 7 so in this way you have to realize the encoder having octal numbers at the input side and binary numbers at the output side so overall what we have done here we have designed the truth table we have represented octal numbers here and their binary representations here a b and c three bit binary numbers for respective octal number then we have drawn the block diagram for the encoder showing how many inputs and how many outputs after that according to the truth table we have designed the expressions now with the use of expressions you have to realize the encoder having three outputs so this is all about the octal to binary encoder thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda